Hello, hello, and welcome to the Lucky Girls Pod, the podcast where we bring back the fun and fandom. That's right, besties. We're here to remind you that being a fan of P-pop and K-pop is supposed to be all about joy, love, and pure, unadulterated craziness. We're three self-proclaimed fangirls who are sick and tired of the drama, toxicity, and parasocial relationships that have been plaguing the fandom lately. So we're taking matters into our own hands. We're here to talk about the good old days where being a fan was all about swooning over our idols, making fan art, and screaming our lungs out at concerts. Of course, we'll also share some of our craziest fan stories and most unhinged delusions about our idols. Because let's be real, who hasn't imagined seeing themselves with their bias at least once? But most importantly, we're here to have fun and be our silly, goofy selves. We'll talk about the things that have been lost when the fandom gets too intense, and we'll do it with a big old smile on our faces. So buckle up, K-poppies and P-poppies. It's time to let loose and have some fun on the Lucky Girls Pod. And don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms so you can stay updated on all of our latest episodes. All right, that's enough from us for now. Let's get this party started, shall we? Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Lucky Girls Pod. This is our comeback episode. It's our basically. comeback. <laughs> also our comeback, let's be real. Yeah. So yeah. it's been a minute since we recorded one, actually. But I changed my hair. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, so true. So she is literally in her comeback era. <laughs> her comeback hold era. on, wait, just, wait, hold on. True comeback she, era. We've ghosted you guys because we had to oh, hide yeah. Rodi's hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's a, a, episode. Episode <laughs> is all about comeback. So we're just gonna kind of a little deep dive. What is a comeback technically? Like me and Rodi, new to this whole thing, I was like, "What the hell is a comeback? Why are they coming back? Where do they go?" You know? Yeah, so, yeah, very much that. Uh, I literally exactly. went, "Oh, so it's just a new song? Like, why? What's <laughs> the big deal?" Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Also, if you just stand P-pop, it's like so different. Yes. Like, yeah, yes. yeah, it is very different. So, so different. glaze over what a comeback is. It's not because they like disappeared completely off the earth <laughs> so they're coming back yeah well maybe sb19 did because they did yeah yeah, yeah they did <laughs> they, yeah, they, they ghosted us for a few months they, they ghosted, ghosted us, us in k-pop miss <laughs> page our k-pop professor like buso <laughs> kwan what is this what does it mean <laughs> basically okay in k-pop so they have about like two usually groups have about two or three a year yeah. um this could range anywhere from a single a mini album or a full album or a repackage album guys there's like so repackage. many <laughs> the way that i had to like learn all these <laughs> marketing <Terms>. girl <laughs> schemes <laughs> for me to buy the same album 400 times like, <laughs> yeah they're yeah marketing scams <laughs> yeah this, this is a point. scam <laughs> and i feel like k-pop if you're been a fan for a while it's really easy to like predict when one is going to happen for your favorite group mm. whereas like p-pop i feel like it's kind of random like, yes i mean we is. knew s 18 was going to have one but we yeah. didn't know when like we had no idea when right. but, like i could literally be like 17 they're gonna have a come like i literally predicted their whole schedule yeah. for this year Thank you so much. yeah so literally it's k-pop so is like scheduled so you know like very you scheduled yeah. but p-pop is like well we'll come back when we want to <laughs> kind of thing good luck or, uh, yeah good luck. i feel like <laughs> you have to figure it out yeah exactly i feel like they just go at their own pace <laughs> right like, right right which is there's nothing wrong about that do no. your yeah, own not thing at all. whatever yeah so it's always yeah. a good shock and surprise as a yeah. fan that you're like oh i woke up to content oh yes God. but also anxiety <laughs> not good for my mental health honestly but yeah i think <laughs> yes. the purpose of comebacks is really like to generate a lot of excitement mm -hmm. um and buzz basically to regain kind of like that sense of a community and like engagement from fans again you may have contents in between but yeah like we all said like it's not new music at the end of the day they are artists <laughs> that's what they do when comeback season happens it's like a whole ass like ordeal it's like thing. it's a whole schedule right it's like and the whole concept of music shows is like crazy when when i got into k-pop i was like what is this like yeah. every day for like 
half the week like what is going on <laughs> thursday i'm counting friday music bank saturday yeah. i was like what is going on like no and that's no the idea. thing i feel like that's also different from like p-pop because like we don't have oh like yeah you said, like we they don't, don't have, have music shows because i've been in k-pop first i feel like right, if i right, was right. into p-pop first it would have been different but like mm-hmm. i had no idea what to expect mm-hmm. like promotion wise right. for p-pop and plus like when i got into p-pop like covid kind of happened like right after yeah. mm-hmm. back in the day s19 was really more doing just like free shows yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. yeah mall shows other than like yeah and stuff like that and Those i feel like school shows yeah mm-hmm. and like i feel that. like p-pop is just still figuring out how to promote yeah like that is so effectively yeah. like i feel like they're just they're just doing shows that they want to do mm-hmm. but they're also and i don't know how it works there's right. lots of different ways that they've been promoting like yes yeah. my love doing that little friday Mm. lounged every yeah, friday yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that is so, so cute yeah. i feel like everyone's just doing like in de- like promotions and their own thing yeah yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Not like a, yeah it's not like there's not, there's not like a thing. formula like how it is mm-hmm. in k-pop, k-pop where everyone yeah. like follows right. the same routine to be like- that's good especially re-engaging your fans because you have your fan mm-hmm. base so if you do things on your own social media you're re-engaging your fans but i feel like in the long run if we want p-pop to like get bigger you need the mass mm-hmm. audience like people like the casuals <laughs> to be drawn in and yeah. i guess you need yeah yeah so you need the the rest of like other media outlets the nation to, to get yeah. into it exactly not just the people and just like fans. your own fan culture because you're never gonna grow but the fandom support in p-pop is like so strong like it's so loyal to a mm-hmm. core look at well, like what happens in like a comeback basically a lot of it is like teasing teasing the fans right so yeah. and then the, the highlight, highlight medley my and, favorite yeah. part of the whole yeah and you know who does that best? Seventeen. Yes. Seventeen, 17 does. They do. They Girl, are. when the Attica highlight man, it's your yeah, yeah, I streamed. Of life. I streamed that like a freaking like monster I was streamer? like you're a monster. Yeah, streamer. I was a monster streamer just for the highlight medley. <laughs> the comeback concept is definitely a thing that Western that Western industry could learn from because yes. not only just yes. does it generate hype before the actual music hype, releases, hype, hype. but it like when we're talking at a business standpoint it's you get all the money mm-hmm. during this time no it's so much real. longevity of this yeah. one like album because people have been talking about it for months and it's like yeah. free promotion for you guys because yes. everyone on twitter is literally going <laughs> yeah yeah that's all you need like i mean it's bad for a wallet <laughs> but i feel like at the end of the day the comeback is for the fans for real the excitement alone just re-engages you like there's so many accounts that i saw that were like coming back from the dead just because they saw SB19 coming back. I was like, I haven't seen you in so long. I was like, I thought... I want to ask... Um, a question it was like the last <laughs> western artist album that you guys were gagged over like how you are over a k-pop or a p-pop album like be honest um, i just don't like listening to music in english that's <laughs> what it is there's something about non-english tracks that's like yeah the biggest thing know. nowadays like they use tiktok <laughs> a lot let's talk about fml album so this is your guys's first 17 so- cover <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes. First of all, it's we need to first say comeback. that. Yes, that was your guys' is like. How is it been? How, like, how has it ah. been your first comeback? Honestly, I was really excited. Oh, it's Melly. like yeah. it's kind of like opening your gifts on Christmas Day, you know, kind of thing. <gasps> like yes. I was just so Probably I was better. just hopeful and optimistic. Like honestly, okay, let's. This is what happened. So I actually didn't mm-hmm. listen to FML until I was driving to work, which was. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> It almost was a, crashed. It was experience. Literally going 90 on the freeway, listening to Super, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I love like my... <laughs> Pedal to the metal. No, literally, it's, uh, I think it was um, Woozy's part when he was like, enter energy. That's when I was merging into the freeway, <laughs> and I was like, girl. She needed that bro. energy. <laughs> Little multiple snaps. Taylor about me freaking the fuck out. And that's what I did. I was a lot. I was overwhelmed in the best way possible. I feel like they're like the the most confident at a level as they are at this moment in time. Also, the records are breaking. Before they even drop anything. Four million. They slayed. They also to have a music video where there's like no storyline it's just so performance focused but it still <gasps> feels like a music video it's so powerful i love it. so powerful the who who was on the lighting crew in the back in the, <laughs> i know in the building in the back, the <laughs> doing overtime like, <laughs> I was just gonna say. Forth, like <laughs> or, the cla- <laughs> or or they had they installed clappers and they were just like <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about each song in chronological okay, order because off. we're not psychos. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, starting if you off, listen to an album on shuffle. <laughs> 
first don't talk listen. To if it's your first listen on Shuffle, fuck? you you're crazy. crazy. You're crazy. You're- Our first impressions mm-hmm. and then how we feel about it mm-hmm. now. Because it's different, you know? Okay. It's always different. Yes, yes. That yeah. was like all I thought about. And then I kept yeah. listening to it. And it's a grower. Like now I'm like, I agree. Grower. I agree. It is a grower. And mm-hmm. and then once I read the lyrics, I was just sitting in my room crying. I was like, that's me. Well, well the cry, thing is, because like they launch all this Truman Show stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But then, and then so we're all like, happened. and then, but then Super Happen came. Because yeah. Super is like yeah. their anime yes. manga ending closing song. It's a grab. And so it's like, yeah, and it's like um, since it's a Truman Show and everything is like yeah. fake content and everything True. is being like, you know mm-hmm. they're watched. This is their story. Look at them. Them. Look at slay. you, big slay. brain, big brain. Big Girl, brain. you better slay because I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna get there, but you got me. So thank you. <laughs> Hoshi's voice in it. <gasps> gagged if i could Gag. just listen to his part on repeat i think i would mm. like his is, vo- his vocals his have vocals. always been good they've mm-hmm. always been good and yeah. i've always loved his vocals but like for some reason this album every time he sings i'm just like his voice sounds so like yeah sweet. um you know guys know that one meme of like the barricade like literally yeah going like it's like that's gonna be us when it's like, <laughs> and <energy. laughs> Fire. Fire. okay 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 so i this has Did- been confirmed <laughs> This yeah. has been confirmed by the resident Latino man in my life. Um, <laughs> yeah. Manny yep, G yep, yep. himself. Manny G himself. Manny co-signed this. He, he, co-signed he this. this. He approved of this. Okay, <laughs> so y'all can't come for me for this. He thinks it's also very reggaeton code. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. This is my. This is one of my top favorite hip hop unit songs. Ooh. I, I like, like it has been. It has. It shot up there. Because yeah. it's a I don't understand. Song of the century. Transition. I don't understand, understand, but I, I love, love you. you. It's so funny because all the kids were like, "Oh my god, that is so cute." That they named it that because obviously we know the story behind it. Yeah. When I heard the highlight medley, some kids were still like, "Oh my god, cute," but I'm like, "No, guys, this you don't. Is, you don't understand." Slut, hey. <laughs> This is stud. She's a. We thought she was a happy track. Vocal team always has cute songs that are sad as hell. Vocal team gaslights. Yeah. (laughs) Because Johan is. Yeah, because Johan is in there. there. (laughs) It's like no. This is happy. What are you talking about? People comparing it to twenty five twenty one. So, yeah, 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 yeah. it's so valid for that like april sh- oh my god she's april one of my shower. faves it's vibey i can listen to it all day long i give it the to you treatment that is my- that is a bold statement miss melly <laughs> i've seen your listening habits that is a bold statement it is a very- like why are all my it favorite is- why are all my favorite songs is- jungkook coded jungkook coded period huh interesting you have a thing with libra so we talking about this song. what is every yeah what Let's is our everyone's our first listen songs. favorites and then we okay. go to what our favorites now okay okay miss Brody, you start okay, okay. wish i was as loyal as melly though for real yeah, we were talking about our bias lines the other day because melly has been in her minghao era I will. and then mm-hmm. and then like i recently changed my bias line which has been like four years now so you would think that i'd have it figured out but i but don't it's, it's always evolving and so I was like talking about it, and so we're like, "Oh, Melly has Minghao made it in your bias line yet?" Because y- y'all, she had been feral over this man. Like, I'm not even there for you, okay? And she's like, yeah. "No, yeah. no." Nope. She was like, "No, no. he's just he's not floating. in there." My bias line's pretty sad, man. But I think she will really be in her Busan Quan era. I could see this. I could see it. Oh I God. know. Oh I don't oh think. God. I don't think. I know. You know. Pick between the two, it will be Vernon. Just that's because... what I was thinking too. I feel like it's no. just because. <laughs> I don't know if it's also because I'm in my Vernon era. And you know who that, I'm like? Wait, wait. Pause. Okay. Joshua. Oh. He's already in there. He's not. Why? Why is he already there? He's been there in the beginning. Uh-huh. What, are you doing? <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? We're like, we need here? to put this on a spreadsheet. Make that. Now we can talk about the. <laughs> Uh, elephant, elephant in the room, room? <laughs> like in the what what museum is that in dc the, the elephant battle of the smithsonian <laughs> <laughs> and that elephant is called miss gento <laughs> guys okay okay first impressions okay okay okay, okay. talking earlier in the episode about how i don't like when a whole song is teased i am so satisfied with how they didn't put like any of the song mm-hmm. like they didn't like we really did i had no idea no what idea. this was gonna sound like like the thing about sr18 is every time they have a new song i'm like oh my god this is like their best song but then yeah. they like come out with another song and i'm like right 
wait, this is their best song. Like, <laughs> and I want to say the part that gagged me the most, which okay. I was going to be like, oh, it must have been Stell. <laughs> but that, well, how that, that did gag me. Yeah. Don't get, don't, don't get it wrong, twisted. Don't get it twisted. That did gag me. But the flute part, <laughs> when they're like, <laughs> that part of the concert, I will be, <laughs> oh my god we will like, be on stage <laughs> so they better be I ready be for that they <laughs> ready yeah we gotta, better catch you guys hope you have enough security guards for that because <laughs> we talked about earlier about like the power of tiktok i feel like these mm-hmm. dance moves are very tiktok like they made it for like Perfect. as with the intention of which this is, so is going to be a dance dance. thank you so much jay because you are yeah. a tiktok dance he is master a- exactly and it's like all like yes upper body heavy because like when you're recording yes. a tiktok you can only see yes. like half your body most of the time yeah and so thank god because i'm in my dancer era and this choreo <laughs> seems like something i could probably do <laughs> so thank you so much i'll be this is literally era. my favorite oh, move <laughs> like this one <laughs> I was like, ah! one of my favorite parts like audio wise is like okay the way that ken just tackles the first chorus like just him oh. with his yeah. my voice <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we'll unpack that we'll later. Already. Yeah, we'll get there later. <laughs> For that was later. like yeah. Justin and his vocal hitting that <gasps> fat ass note. At first, I thought his voice was like fading into Pablo's, but I'm like, yes. that very much could be his voice. I've just yes. never heard it sound like that. Right. I That's was, what I was, I was like, like, I was like, so bro good. was taking lessons in this hiatus. He was eating his CDs. <gasps> yes, but also I feel like I'm gonna be always in my Justin era. Like every time there's something, it's there's getting he always stands out. <laughs> yeah, it gets <laughs> heavier. <laughs> it's getting worse. I would say. <laughs> Justin is dangerous. And I love how they styled his hair, like how Dino's was like. Yeah. yeah. It was like Josh, Pablo, Kenneth. Ken just rapping back to back to back. back back Ken's rap, his rap in Tagalog, is like my favorite (gasps) part of the whole song. It tickles my brain. It's It's like in your brain. brain. Yeah, he's literally in your brain. (laughs) (laughs) Dancing up there. My sleep paralysis demon in there. (laughs) (laughs) I can't. <laughs> you sound a lot like him, Rodi. I'm not gonna lie. He's my cousin. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, <laughs> she's like first. It's oh. Josh's first fucking verse. Oh, oh I right love there. how it was like. Yeah, yeah. I'm like his voice. Yeah. I'm like, oh, his voice. What the fuck is that? Because you're our only Stell Berry. Yeah, like, I wanted to see. I think the floor is yours. Uh, 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 uh My <laughs> truth is, I want to fight. <laughs> Very he much. is in his, his I'm realizing hot. I'm hot era. Yes. He's his hot boy era, and his hot boy era needs to simmer down. He needs to yeah. get like sprayed with open water. <laughs> Calm down. Sir. Yeah. So we were like upset at him that he was ghosting all of us. And then I was literally <laughs> mad at him. Like this I was literally it. going off. And I'm like, I'm so, so I'm so like I was literally like still post a TikTok on you. I think we need to do an episode for a public <laughs> apology public for all yes. the shit we said. <laughs> so sorry, I'm so you sad so much. he ghosted us. We were uh, so sad. We were just all from bitterness because we were just ghosted. We just yeah. missed him. Okay. We're happy, really you're it. confident, and you got what you got. You have to understand, on. like, you have to understand, like, we, it, it went from, like, tour to seeing them in person, like, for two mm-hmm. weeks straight. And it felt like, like and and ghosting yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the thing depressed. is, like, it's, it's weird that Stell would ghost because he's always, he's chronically yeah. online. He's always okay. okay. He, he is. is. <laughs> he knows all the memes, all he the knows slang, everything. All the, he knows everything. You know what I got out of this? He knows how to keep a secret. As much as he talks so much, hey. he knows how to keep a secret. You're so right. He's just like me. Too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stell, if you're listening to this, <laughs> can you please tell us your big three acts <laughs> to see if it's the same as mine? If it <laughs> is, <laughs> or we can do it for you. Just tell us your birth time. Just tell us just your tell birth, us birth time, time and location. Hour. Location. location. This will be my one question for him. Hey, do you know the time you were born in what city? <laughs> He's gonna be like, <laughs> what? He's gonna be like, what the fuck? I wanted to say. I wanted to say. What I wanted to say. Do you guys. Are you guys heavy into the theories or what's the vibes? I oh, have true. not looked at anything. Because okay, because I'm, I'm dumb. One. I'm also dumb. I'm, well, that's yeah. what this song is. Like, you can't just yeah. you can't it's just listen to it. But you have to without have watch seen. It too. Yeah, without yeah. having seen. You gotta the music watch the video. MV first, and then once you have watched the MV, then you're like, I yeah. get the song. But yes. I mean, I don't know if we want to dive into this, but someone like commented on my video about like what everything meant. People who don't, don't take care of their hygiene here are called maasim, literally sour. Oh. So then he said in the lyrics that no matter how sweaty and sour he smells after the hard work he did all day, the haters are more sour than him. Period. Oh! <laughs> and he said, Mic drop. Yeah. 
he said he said something <laughs> he said underwear drop he said that's burning their brows because their faces are buried on the book so they're probably saying that instead of raising your eyebrows on someone judging them why don't you just burn your brows study or do your hard work, work. hard bit because why don't you haters just, like, read a book i know you just read a book <laughs> read a book <laughs> us, us. <laughs> It's like those genius videos of the artists. <laughs> they wanted to say it, so we're just—they just said it smart. We're yeah, just it down for y'all. Don't worry. When you watch a music video for the first time, you There's don't so know much. what to like look yeah. at. You're like, I can't, I yeah. can't both like, look at them and the lyrics yeah. and like Listen to the song. theories. Like, I just can't. That's what and I'm mind you, this was of. the first time we heard the song too. So it's like, and mind you, that was naked. So <laughs> mind you, yes, I blacked out a bit. I had to watch this. I tell you what, every time. <laughs> why i was like ooh, the part that i remember the most when i first heard it josh's part so at the end of the day oh it's Stell's fault yeah yeah, yeah. so if you're listening to this Stel, yeah <laughs> it's your fault i think you owe Paige a joint birthday party <laughs> because of this yeah because yeah. someone already um, told me they'd have a joint birthday party with me instead of you <laughs> so that's because you be ghosting me <laughs> so i've moved on pablo was like so he said that he basically took into account um the members feelings on what type of genre they would want to put in the album so he said so josh said he this? wants edm so maybe gento is the edm one and then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um ken said pop or hip-hop then yeah, justin yeah, yeah. said yeah. justin said like kind of an acoustic Classical. acoustic ballad <laughs> of course okay, that's so justin no, that is so justin, so justin. We're, are we gonna get one of each Th that's Wait. what i'm thinking and r and b and, and, and hear me out hear me out i think that's because of us <laughs> for us they really have not had like an r and b mm -hmm. type I song want a, ever i want a juicy i want a, a fat juicy a fat juicy bassy fat juicy bass what's going on, on? <laughs> I want it to sound like Usher. I want it to sound like I want it to be like two thousands R and B. Yeah, yes. but that's what they're practicing right now. I don't like that. <laughs> the silence was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> this is the. What if they're gonna serenade fans to their R and B song? Shut up! Like, don't even say that, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. I'm delusional for real. <laughs> 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 I'm delusional. Oh my god, it's so I funny. Don't no, 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 no. <laughs> you guys, the fact that I bought a gavel. Did I tell you guys that? No! <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I for future, Unboxing. Um, for future court court um court dates. <laughs> court dates. I just know we're gonna be fighting on the podcast after this tour, I tell you. My brother bought one because he it was for like their I don't know I think it was fa fantasy football. Huh? Fantasy football. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't even opened yet. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh. oh. It looks oh my hefty. You Gento. This is for when we put stuff. The fact on trial. you bought that. The he Stel is on going trial. Stell on trial. He is. Oh my God, we didn't unpack that I'm in my Ken era. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Now <laughs> that now that we've come to this point. Let us unpack Stell's uh, Ken we... era. <laughs> Stell's Ken era? I mean, Stell's Ken. <laughs> Am I Stell? <laughs> you are. Basically. <laughs> no, no, Stell's me. <laughs> Paige's Ken era. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm back. It's so, it's so good to be back. Um, this is my PR statement. For all of you... I feel like people would get mad at me. It's just like that Why? whole thing with Lydia. Because you know how people are like, oh, mm. you're you're in here. You're leaving. You're in, oh my god. Mm. What the hell? And I'd be like, it's really not that deep. Like, Ken is like, I just feel like he's like so bestie for real. Like he's so baby girl. So like, I just look at him and I'm just like, I'm just taking a vacation. Yeah, you're taking a vacation. That's Sabbatical. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna go work at the chicken farm. <laughs> through yeah, like through Burma Rock for chicken. real. <laughs> Please accidentally run into us please i like how i like how you. it's like it's them to us instead of us to them yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're meeting you guys yeah this is it's our tour, tour. <laughs> this is our tour yeah it is <laughs> is anybody else in a different era i know roadie's not because still um, still said uh, you're still here i mean still like here. maybe it's like floating in my head. Oh yeah, you're way so more, right. You're way so more right. than usual. That's such a thing with Ken stands right now. Like Jasmine, let's 
put her on she thought actually, here, she thought actually, she had to defend Jasmine, herself right now she's not here to defend herself she's literally not even in the country right now but you didn't hear from me but uh jasmine's in <gasps> oh <laughs> because hey 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 because it's this been girl like, was all this girl was all about so i don't know if actually it might have changed for if you guys made it this far i'm so sorry if i'm so sorry you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we I'm lost so- ourselves <laughs> we have yeah anyway hopefully this all makes sense like i always i always say hopefully this all makes sense. the moral of the story is i don't know it doesn't make sense yeah okay well anyway (laughs) we'll see you guys on the next episode goodbye Bye. bye and that's it for today's episode of the lucky girls pod we hope we brought some joy and laughter into your day don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on your favorite listening platform so you never miss an episode and if you have any funny fan stories or just want to say hi hit us up on our social media pages we'd love to hear from our fellow fandom enthusiasts until next time this is melly Paige, and Rody signing off Keep standing, keep laughing, and stay like a rose. Which is so... I feel like it's uh, a mag... A mag... A mag a, what is the word I'm trying to say? Mod podge. Um, mod... Um, amalgamation. Um, amalgamation. Yes. Amalgamation. Yes. Hey, what? SAT word. Y'all need to read I a book. I didn't take the SAT. I didn't take the SAT. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm not from here, so I cannot run. Actually, I didn't take the SAT. Actually, I did not take the SAT either. I lied. Oh... <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, uh, you know, I'm not saying you. Oh, you're saying oh, and mine because mine uh, less. <laughs> her own I advice. read books. Yeah, she does. We will burn our eyebrows off. But like, I don't read like smart people books. I just read for fun. <laughs> you have to read backwards. Yeah, yeah. So you're so smart. right. You're so, so she's right. so she's smart. <laughs> she's a multicultural. Okay, she's so we, we were talking about Neo, and then now we're here. <laughs> ACTs and SATs. <laughs> how the? How did we connect that? Okay. Anyway, what the hell do we need to talk about more? Okay, Gento. <laughs> okay, we finished. <laughs>